Hi guys, it's me, Vacuum Smith here, and it is a summer, no, not summer yet, but it might as well be, morning, and what is that? Oh, get out of here, you little blue wasp. Um, my point is, is I'm going to wash the blaster with the pressure washer and other things like that, because this thing, you guys may or may not know, is a terrible oily mess. It's time to pressure wash it. And the weather is finally reliable enough that I don't have to worry about it raining or snowing on it and getting it all muddy again right after washing it. At least I hope. Well, I've ran into a bit of a dilemma with um, the rotation of the earth. See, I want the blaster to sit in the sun after I'm done washing it so it gets dry. Well, this is the sunny spot. Usually this is sunny. But if I look up, I'll stand in the shade so I don't blind myself. If I look up, the sun is up behind the tree. So which means if I put the blaster over there, I'll come back out here in another five minutes and then the sun's going to be right here where I want it. But maybe it'll still work. Okay, you're wondering why I didn't just ride it here? Well, because my parents are gone. I'm home alone. I'm not supposed to ride this thing home alone. But I didn't say I couldn't push it across the yard. So one thing I am grateful about this pressure washer, which you can't say about all pressure washers, is it's got a beautiful feature. It's got a soap tank, which means you can lather up your vehicle. So I have three Dawn bottles here. And you're probably wondering, why do I have three Dawn bottles? Well, all of these three Dawn bottles are low on soap, but they all have a relatively similar type of soap in the bottom. My plan is, is to use a little bit from each one to minimize the effect that I wasted soap, so maybe my mom won't find out. Which, she'll know I wasted soap on the pressure washer anyway, because I have a YouTube channel. I'm talking about my plans on YouTube. Something I see often that a lot of people who have two-stroke dirt bikes do a lot. And, uh, I... You never see it on two. You never see it done on four strokes. I don't know why it matters on a two stroke. But anyway, a lot of people have these little plastic things that have a couple ridges on them, and they stick it up the. Ex Ooh, that's got a lot of carbon in there. And they stick it up the exhaust hole uh, to keep moisture from getting in there. I don't have one of those, so maybe a rag will do. Just pack it in there. <clears throat> Let's hope I don't try to start it like that, or else uh, it won't start. <laughs> it might blow it up if I try to start it like that. Oh, don't worry. I'll remember. I mean, it's obvious. I mean, luckily there's no bulls around here or else my blaster might be destroyed. On goes the soap nozzle, which is just basically a plastic thing with a big hole instead of the really fine metal hole. So it allows more water and soap to... Te it technically, it's always spraying out soap, but it, you don't notice it with any of the others, but you do with this one. <laughs> Actually, I'll fast motion it, starting now. I used up all my soapy water. Here we go! seems a bit jittery. It also did die and it's turned back on somehow. Anyways, not the four wheel of the phone. Um, so it's here drying off. Have okay, guys. I'm just about to get ready um, to rock and roll on this thing. It's nice and dry, except for this. Well, you gotta be kidding me. So now it decides to stick on there. This is the deal.
water got inside the grip, if you're curious. Okay, I got it on. Both of them. The problem is, I just figured out why handlebar grips need to have a little hole at the end. So when you're putting them on, it doesn't put pressure inside of the um, handlebar grip and push the other one off.